It's cooking with Cuisinart. Great recipes from master chefs. Now, one of America's greatest chefs, Hubert Keller from Fleur de Lis in San Francisco and Las Vegas. The Burger Bar in Las Vegas and St. Louis. And Sleek Steakhouse in St. Louis. And now, today's recipe. Well, who wouldn't like a chocolate fondue with uh, two different kinds of chocolates, espresso and then a large shot of bourbon in there? I think that's definitely a crowd pleaser. So what I have over here is a fondue pot, and I will put actually to number four and a half to warm it up. First, I'm going to add some half and half, and then I will add the cream. And once I have that, I definitely will bring that to a boil, and as soon as it boils, then I will add the chocolate. Over here, I have a whole assortment of different kinds of fruits and cookies. This is going to make some great dippers for chocolate fondue. Of course, here I have something really interesting that I made also our little skewers. So you can use some fresh figs or pineapple or exactly some bananas. And here what I'm doing, like these skewers, I just take a strawberry and a marshmallow. And like I said, you really, it's really up to you what you really want to use as long as it's like fun and colorful. So once I have that, I put a little bit of angel fruit cake right over here and then some pineapple. And once I have that together, of course, you see how easy it is to actually dip it into the milk. So here I will add a little bit bourbon into the espresso. And when I say a little bit, it's really up to you. You can add a little bit more. It's going to make that chocolate fondue even more flavorful. So what I want to make sure is my espresso is diluted in the bourbon. And you can really smell the bourbon and the espresso right over here. So once we have that, right over here, I see that my mixture of uh, cream is actually boiling so I will add a little bit of chocolate about a quarter cup and I really pour it in slowly over my spatula in order not to splash the cream and uh, the half and half so now I'm just gonna add a little bit more and always yeah poured over the spatula so definitely the cream will not splash all right and really when it comes to that really nice and rich chocolate flavor of course I personally, I love a bittersweet chocolate. I would probably add in a little bit more bittersweet, but it's really up to you what really you would like or what your friends actually will like. I'm just gonna add my milk chocolate. And as you can observe now, my mixture really starts on thickening it up. It becomes really nice and rich, and that's what the chocolate fondue is about. And it's really, really easy. And with that fondue part, as you have seen, it just takes me a couple of minutes and the fondue is ready. In the meantime, I think I can already now mix in the espresso. So just want to make sure I stir it so the espresso doesn't sit on the bottom. And again, just pour it against my spatula. And that is like talking about smelling the bourbon. It's really nice and pleasing. Of course, now you want to stir it very gently because there's that liquid on top, and you just stir it in. And that's probably one of the best fondue. You cannot get better than that. We are basically ready to serve, and the way I would actually serve it here is actually a lid who comes right on top. And I think I actually want to try how that actually really tastes. So I'm going to dip that strawberry into the chocolate. And it really tastes great. And I think the bourbon does it with the chocolate and of course you can put these little forks in there and with the retainer actually done in sliding it. Fabulous fondue. All right so here we have the last little fork who goes in and all my dippings as you can see how beautiful colorful so I really it's something I recommend be creative with the fresh food and anything you can think of and just enjoy the chocolate fondue. <laughs>